Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Rahul Pawar and in today's video, we are going to discuss about one of the most implemented real-time scenario in uh, Tableau. So if you are a Tableau developer, at least once you might have implemented this type of a scenario in your real time. And the, th the chances are very high that you might have also searched how to do that or what is the you know, generic formula for that. Now, without wasting much time, let us get started. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So in this video, we are going to discuss about one of the most implemented scenarios that is finding out your YTDs, your QTDs and your MTD. And the intention behind this video is to generate or to write one common calculation or to make it as generic as possible so that we can reuse it in multiple scenarios or with a, with a small change. So that is the intention here. Now let us get started. So because we are going to implement or calculate or find YTDs, I'm trying to see if I have data related to my current year. So I'm taking, I've connected to sample superstore and I'm taking order date. So let us see. So we have data till 2022. So I need data till 2023. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to create a new field called as current year. And I'm simply using date add function. And in this, I'm trying to add one year to my existing year. So I'm just taking this is and order date. Okay. So now this will give me data till current year. If you see here now, if I drag and drop, I got till 2023. So now we will be using this field as a base field for all our calculations. Okay, so I'm just trying to split this into month format also uh, because it will be easy for us to understand. So let us make it discrete. Okay, or, I, or else I can write this also, fine. So now first thing that I'm trying to do is to find out YTD. So YTD means what? Year till date year till date means what we need to consider all the day all the months in our current year and that should be less than today okay so that is the intention so to write this what we can do so first thing is we need to find out the difference between year and my date Right. So in this first thing, what we need to identify is what is the base that you are trying to find out. So for one starting point, we need to identify in your date. So whenever you are trying to write a date logic, try to find what is your base date or what is your starting date so that you can always consider that as your starting point. From there, you can try to bring in, you know, the relevant days you need so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to consider today as my one base date from which i'm trying to take or consider my current year or my current date so all of this type of questions i can use today as my base reference okay so now one date part we need so now with respect to today I'm trying to validate my actual date field that I have in my database. Now, this can be any of your date field that you want in your database. Okay, so let us try to do. So first, I'm trying to find out my current year. Current year means what? If I consider the year from this, what is the year that I'll get? I'll get 2023. So now, and if I try to get year from my order date also so there can be multiple years now you see we have 2020 we have 2021 we have 2022 we have 2023 now when i try to do a date difference with respect to this i'll get zero here i'll get one here i'll get like that so let us see that so i'm simply trying to use a date difference function and we will elaborate that to find out the calculation now just try to you know freeze this calculation in your mind so that you can reuse it whenever you get a scenario now what i'm trying to do here is finding the difference with respect to year now this can be your month your quarter it can be anything but here because we are doing ytd for now i'm taking difference in years with respect to my current year 
and today okay so if i take this and apply and if i just try to maybe convert this into dimension and if i try to drop it here now you see here 2023 so in from today if i take year what is the year will get 2023 so 2023 minus 23 0 23 minus 22 1 23 minus 21 2 23 minus 23 so now like that the difference is being generated now if at all i want to consider my only my current year then what should i do it should be equal to zero right so i'm just trying to elaborate the logic now so if i click on apply now it is becoming boolean here right because only this condition is matching and it is becoming true now we need all those dates that are in my current year okay if date difference of is equal to zero then what i am doing is okay so just to show you the problem in this what i'll do is uh, i'll just add month like i said and uh, maybe i'll take the month here now see here 2020 all is false 2021 all false 2022 all false but when it comes to 23 all of them are true right so in your actual database there can also be a scenario like this or a situation like this where you can have a future data now it is our responsibility to eliminate all of those such things so in ytd we need all of these dates but they should be less than today so we are in september as of today right so i want all of this from september till january right now how can we fix that so simply i'm writing and order date sorry my current year should be less than today okay so now if i try to fix this what is happening now see here so there are some true and false both in this because we have some dates which are less than today and some dates greater than today so we are getting both so rest is false here okay now we are getting what we need from this so simply we can elaborate this logic to get sales only for that so if i'm just creating or we have just created a base then so if this condition is satisfied then give me sales and end it that's it so now if i do this we got sales for that okay now if i try to now because this was a dimension it didn't aggregate if i try to remove and if i convert it into measure now if i try to drag and drop now see we got sales only from january to september this is your ytd so if i remove all of this and take we will get total now either you can make aggregation at this level or you can also do aggregation like this option is up to you this is your ytd calculation i hope it is clear and i hope you will remember this forever as long as you are using bi so irrespective of tableau be it bi or power bi wherever you go ytd mtd and all are important now next thing we need is qtd okay so i'm just uh, or we can also try to suppose i want to find out my previous year ytd okay so in this year okay in this year we are considering dates from what from january till september right so we are getting the values there fine now what i am trying to do is i am trying to take this and uh, okay i'll keep it like this only and i'll try to duplicate it and i'll try to rename this as pytd so previous year i need so again let us try to build it so that we can understand how it is happening now whenever you are trying to build again logic come from a base here then only you will understand what is each calculation doing otherwise it is very tough to build now first what is that we need we need date difference and the difference should be year one right so if we take i'll also remove this okay and uh, maybe i'll remove this also now if i take as one 
okay and uh, okay what is the error here day difference of here okay maybe we have okay so pytd is here true or false we are getting now see here 2022 is becoming true right so we went back there fine now what we need to do we need to find out So like we have taken all those dates that were less than today, we need to take all those dates that are less than today, but in previous year, right? So for that, I'm simply writing this where my current year, okay? In my current year, I want all of those dates that are less than today, but I'm taking this. Okay, so I'm just, let us try to again build it with respect to month here. And let us see what will become true here. Okay, if I go here, now see here, 23, all of them are becoming false. But in 22, we are getting data from 20, January till September, which, which means what we consider for YTD, we consider from January to September. And for previous year till date, what are we considering? Same months, but in previous year. So this can also help you in finding out what were my sales in my previous year, same time. So for that, we can use this calculation. So we are doing minus one or here, going back one year and same here, we are going back minus one. Minus one is something that is important for you to remember, okay? Now, after this, simply I can write if we can put this in bracket, then sales and it, that's it. I can convert this into measure and I'll get the values. Now, when we take YTD, this is your Y. We got both. Okay. Now, if at all I want to compare 23 and 22, like this. So, in 2022, we had this cell and this cell. Now, again, I can write a calculation on top of that if Uh, my sum of YTD I can also try to write a calculation to check you know if that is greater than or less than and you know maybe color them or whatever I want, I can do that. So that is also possible. So for that, I'm just trying to write here. Okay, maybe I think one we have aggregated, okay, some here. So here, I think I need to write some. So one we are doing at this level and one we did it in the calculation, that's why I observe the aggregation here. One is sum, another one is AGG. So I'm just trying to bring them in the same thing. Now, if I try to take this, you see, we are getting true or false. I can try and drop it on color. Okay. So that way also we can try to, you know, solve this type of issues here. Now, same manner, I want to find out my MTD and QTD. So the only difference we can do here is, I'm just trying to duplicate. I'm editing it. So instead of my YTD, I'm just taking my MTD here. Okay, so everything will remain same here. Like we said, you know, we want to build a generic calculation so that we can, you know, uh, derive it or use it or reuse it in multiple places. So here, what I'm trying to do is trying to find month. So month till date means what? all of your month or in this month 
all of the days till today right so in this year in this month so again for that i am just trying to make it month okay and uh, sorry this month and again i'll take yeah so we'll keep it like this now again i'm just removing everything and we'll start from the beginning so what will we get if we try to comment this okay so i'm just trying to remove this we have some extra yeah so if i click on apply where is our mtd it is becoming true or false i'm taking this and dropping it on uh, maybe i'll drop it here now observe here 2022 all of them are false okay and we'll directly go to 2023 here okay because again date difference of month of current year and today which means from month part we are trying to subtract okay so So I'm simply going to 23. Okay, so I'll remove this to avoid confusion. Now, if I go to 23, say December, everything is false. November, false. October is also false. September, you see, we are getting true here. Okay, and same thing again and it is less than today that's it okay so i'm i can just remove this also apply now all of those dates in my current month and less than today so what is the date today it is 26th so we got except 26th all of them are today here true here okay now simply using this base as calculation we can use this to find out if this then give me sales and ended that's it okay click on apply and okay so you can convert this into a measure to get your values okay so that way we can solve this so same likewise if at all you want to find out mtd and you know qtd you want to do same same process so only difference is you just need to change your keyword here from month to quarter and here also quarter and everything should remain same. So click on apply. Okay. So now I'll just remove this maybe because we need quarters here. Okay. I'm trying to do the same thing here. I'll put it at month level. And this will be at a quarter level. Now let us try to understand what is that we are getting. So again, let us convert it into measure and sum. Now see here, 2023 Q3 we are getting July, August, September. Okay, only for current quarter. Okay, so this way you can solve the most you know real time implemented scenarios that is ytd mtd and qtd okay and one more thing we can do is we can create a parameter here and we can take a list of values maybe like this one two three four okay now if user want to see ytd ytd or he want to see previous year till date or QTD or MTD whatever you he wants you can write them all of this and you can assign a calculation to find out that so if he wants YTD he'll see YTD or previous year or QTD or MTD like that we can solve so only one calculation you need to write now which will take all of these previous calculations that you have created. Okay. So simply I can write like this case of maybe parameter three. When it is one, then I want uh, YTD. Sorry. 
something like this you can write and you can solve it okay so yeah so that's it from my side in this video i hope if i have you have found this video useful if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe and you know send it across your friends so that you know they can it can be of help to them see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day